the Great Attractor Base, the Celestial Comet Wall, and the Subspace Crystalline Barrier. These are but some of the cosmic level construction projects Clipoth, the Eon of Preservation, has pursued. While we don't know what these constructs do exactly, they all seem to have a central theme, something that generally resembles a wall or a barrier. As the Eon of Preservation, Clipoth's sole prerogative is to protect and act defensively. But with how much effort it's putting into these galactic sized constructs, what exactly is Clipoth protecting us from? Before we dive further into the cosmic horrors that exist in Star Rail's universe, if you want to see more Honkai Star Rail content, do consider subscribing to the channel. Clipoth is one of the oldest eons that exists, and throughout its time in the universe, it has always been associated with mega construction projects. This is so ingrained into its reputation that most who follow the path of preservation, such as the IPC, either give the eons gifts in the form of construction materials, or think that the walls are some sacred symbol of Clipoth and choose to follow in its footsteps, building more walls. For the former, reinforced concrete, steel, timber, and anything that may be used in construction are given as tributes to their eon. In fact, the sourcing of such materials is really how the IPC even came into power, but that's a whole other story. Despite the best efforts of its followers, Clipoth has funnily never used these materials, but does continue to labor away at constructing its wall. Nobody really knows why it's so fixated on this task, but in the few texts that we have, there are mentions of Clipoth realizing some imminent threat is on its way, and this is its response to it. But with how little we know about the current universe, what could be so threatening to its existence that a being on the level of a god is spooked? Well, there are a few ideas that come to mind, and the first is the Swarm, a giant group of space-faring insectoids. The Swarm originates from the Eon of Voracity and functionally eat whatever they run into from people to planets. If you're curious about that eon, I actually covered it in another video, but it is possible that due to an uncontrollable cloud of giant space insects flying around in the universe, Clipoth believed it had to protect each planet from such beings due to its nature of preservation. The eon of veracity is also said to be a leviathan, ancient beings that existed thousands of years ago that seems to have been eradicated during the Dusk Wars, an event that Clipoth was said to have been involved with. This could be the second potential source of threat. We don't know the details of the Dusk Wars, but based on the story in Genshin Impact, I'm gonna make a guess. If you didn't know, in Genshin, the gods didn't always rule the world, and it once belonged to the dragons. There was a huge war that the gods eventually won, and thus became the sole rulers of Tevat. With how Hoyo vs games tend to have similarities between them, I'm guessing some version of this happened between the Eons and the Leviathans. It could be that having seen the war for itself, Clipoth may be completely shell-shocked at how dangerous the Leviathans really are, and in preparation for their return, it's building these walls. Though because we know too little about the Leviathans and whatever happened in the past, it's really just a guess. Plus, if they really were eradicated, it would be weird for Clipoth to be preparing for them unless it knows something we don't. The next potential threat could be the Eons themselves. While some eons who are not really destructive, such as Shipe, who wants to promote harmony, and Nus, who is just looking for answers, there are also those that can be considered dangerous and chaotic. Nanook, Aha, and even Ix can be considered quite a dangerous threat given the right circumstances. Nanook and its followers are literally promoting destruction, while Aha has been said to destroy planets for its own enjoyment. As the Eon of Preservation, Clipoth may stand in opposition to these types of eons and their paths, and why it's so focused on ensuring that sentient life is protected. These walls may not be able to stop the eons themselves, but perhaps order and control can curb their followers such as the Antimatter Legion and the Masked Fools. Speaking of destruction, I also wanted to include the spread of the Stellarons and the Fragmentum as a potential threat. However, the IPC in their broadcast have mentioned that Tests are underway to slow the effects of Stellarons down, and it seems to be having some positive effect, but it could just be propaganda, and I probably won't explore this anymore. Now up till this point, I've mostly only talked about the threats that originate from the Star Rail universe itself, but what if these dangers that Clipoth senses is extragalactic? 
something that could originate from outside the known universe. This could be why it's so fixated on building walls, to keep anything outside from coming in. Now I don't know how it could even be aware of these threats, but something external coming in isn't unheard of as we do have someone who isn't from this universe, Weld. So if Weld could arrive here, who knows what threats exist externally that could pierce the veil into the universe of Star Rail. The biggest threat that I can think of is the Honkai itself, a process that exists to test and determine if universes have the right to exist on the branches of the imaginary tree. Now I'm probably going to make some mistakes here as I'm not too well informed on the lore of Honkai as I never played Honkai Impact, so if I get anything wrong, feel free to clarify it in the comments. Anyways, the Honkai can appear in many different forms, from beasts to cataclysms to even taking control of an individual to act as its avatar. But all of its effort is to test whether the inhabitants of a particular universe have what it takes to survive. Now I'm aware that this idea is largely a theory unto itself, even within Honkai Impact's law, but such a thing existing may very well be something Klipoth would want to defend the universe from. But the Honkai isn't the only thing that can come from the outside. Much like the Tyranids in Warhammer 40k, perhaps there are other beings or beasts that wish to enter into the universe. Though this is pretty much impossible to verify as we know very little of what lays beyond the boundaries of Star Rail's universe. Now having explored all these alternative possibilities, there is one crazy and outlandish theory that I want to include. So far, we have only considered threats to sentient beings themselves and assumed that something is out to get us. It's pretty natural for us to think in terms of ourselves as the center of the universe. But what if this wall isn't meant to keep something from coming in? What if Klipoth is actually protecting the rest of reality from us? And this protective wall is nothing but a cage. Yes, this idea is completely insane, but think about what the sentient beings are technically capable of. While we might think of the eons as the top of the food chain, they are actually bound to the rules and ideology of the paths themselves. And the paths are something that has materialized from the thoughts and actions of every sentient creature. But why would this make us the threat? Well, the best analogy I can compare this to is the warp in Warhammer 40k. When the warp first existed during the time of the old ones, it wasn't a place of malevolence and evil because there was no such thought like that in the universe at the time. But after the war in heaven and with the wars happening in the current setting, the immaterium became corrupted. If you're confused with my analogy here, what I'm basically trying to say is that whatever the sentient creatures think, the paths adapt to. The path of destruction only exists because the universe is filled with individuals who are filled with anger and destructive thought. This makes the denizens of the universe pretty dangerous considering we essentially birth a god of destruction without even being aware. Who knows what might happen if we were left uncontrolled. But again, this is just the craziest of all these possibilities, so don't read too much into this last one. Now obviously, since we know so little about the eons and the paths in Star Rail, none of these ideas may end up being true. Perhaps once more lore is released, we could get a truer picture of why even a god can be spooked into building wall after wall. Alternatively, perhaps there's just no threat, and the closest approximation of preservation Clipoth can come up with is just to build a bunch of walls. Personally, I'm more inclined to the idea there is something lurking out there that makes even the Eons scared, but I can't confirm anything at this point with the lore we currently have. Let me know in the comments why you think Clipoth is building these walls and I'll end the video here. If you found it entertaining, do consider liking and subscribing to the channel and I'll see you next time. As usual, have a nice day.